The Vietnam War lasted 20 years, and those 20 years have been burnt into the very fiber of humanity and will never be forgotten. Hey guys, my name is Leroy Kenton and welcome back to FTD Facts. And now for many of us, we've learned about this in schools. And for some of us, we may have heard the term Vietnam War, but don't necessarily know the facts relating to the war. So I decided to do this episode to share and explore 10 surprising and interesting facts about the Vietnamese War. So let's take a look. Starting with fact number 10. So the United States supported the anti-communist government in South Vietnam, and it began to send military advisors to help train as well as support the South Vietnamese army. Now the South was fighting against the Viet Cong. Now these guys were a communist party also in South Vietnam and they had formed an alliance with North Vietnam. The Viet Cong began a campaign to take the lives of people back in the year 1957. Uh, by the time 1959 rolled around, North Vietnam dramatically increased its military assistance to the Viet Cong, which then they began attacking South Vietnamese military units. And America feared that if communism took over Vietnam, it would spread to other countries nearby. In 16 straight days of combat, the brigade envelops the 24th North Vietnamese Army Regiment and more than 500 of the communist aggressors are killed. It is the largest single battle of the war for the men of the 101st. Now, one pretty interesting point of view of this war is that it really shouldn't be called a war. It should actually be called the Vietnam Conflict. So how it goes is like this, let me explain. The Americans formally became involved in the war after the Gulf of Tonkin resolution, but here's the thing, they never actually declared war and new American administrations stared away from getting into heated debates in Congress so they never actually pursued a formal declaration of war. So this meant that the war was technically a conflict, although no one involved or affected by this conflict would view it not as a war. Also, a big misconception Perception is that America was alone, but no, Americans weren't alone in this. Many people mistakenly believe that Americans acted completely unilaterally in Vietnam. However, countries like New Zealand, Australia, Cambodia, Laos, and even South Korea all contributed significant amount of troops to the war. And did you know that most of the men who fought in the Vietnam War weren't actually drafted? They were volunteers and more than three quarters of the men who fought in Vietnam volunteered to join the military. Of the nearly 8.7 million troops who served in the military between the years 1965 and 1973, only 1 1.8 million of them were drafted and 2.7 million of those in the military fought in Vietnam at this time. And only 25% of those 2.7 million were drafted and only 30% of the combat deaths in the war were actually those who were drafted. Also, this war had a lot of unconventional devices that were engineered. So the Vietnam War was a time during which resources were very scarce and the troops had to make use of anything and everything just to stay alive. Not just to stay alive for themselves, but to also save other people's lives. So things went really crazy. During this time, they used like super glue to stop the bleeding from injuries. Duct tape was another method to repair repair damaged helicopter blades and other equipment. And you know, slinkies, does everybody remember these? They were used in the Vietnam War as mobile radio antennas. And now they would throw slinkies over branches and trees to extend the range of their radios. Talk about creativity, but I mean, when your life is on the line, you're gonna think of the strangest things just to stay alive as well as save someone else's life. All right guys, now so we're halfway into this episode and before I get into the last five facts that I really wanna share with you guys, just a reminder to leave a like on this episode. It lets us know that you're enjoying these videos and also it shows us what FTD Facts episodes you wanna see more of. Now, if this is your first time here to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you join the FTD Facts family and you can stay up to date with our daily episode. So tune in every single day. We got more videos that are going to teach you something new. Here's another very interesting fact about the Vietnam War. So Americans, what they would do, they would play ghost noises in the jungle of Vietnam because you see the Vietnamese had these very elaborate death rituals meant to send the deceased people to the afterlife in peace. But if the dead person doesn't actually get a proper burial, well, they believe that they will just wander around as a ghost and haunt the living people. 
So since many bodies didn't actually get a proper burial during the war, Americans saw this and they were like, well, you know, let's just play up on their fare. So they would play ghost noises on hidden speakers in the jungle at nighttime. Now I did talk about unconventional devices being used during this war, but not just random things were used. There was also chemical weapons that were used and this was very controversial. So a controversial tool used during the Vietnam War was Agent Orange and it's a defoliant designed to strip away forest cover and after the war, the chemical mixture was found to be the cause of birth defects and tumors as well as other kinds of weird defects. Now the effects of the chemical continue even to this day. The U.S. military responded to the problem by assaulting trees and brush with a potent herbicide nicknamed Agent Orange. According to the Defense Department, more than 11 million gallons of the defoliant were sprayed on the jungles of Vietnam. Agent Orange did its job but it also had long-term side effects for those exposed to the defoliant, including various forms of cancer and Parkinson's disease. And to this day, children in Vietnam are still being born with birth defects just from the effects of Agent Orange. And by the way, this is a herbicide that was used by the United States military. Now, a big question is, why did this war go on for so long? That's a question that I wondered. So I did some digging and I found that the Vietnam War dragged on for so long for a variety of reasons. The terrain was very difficult and heavily forested and guerrilla tactics of the Communist Party forces really dragged things out. But not just that, there's a lot of hesitation in the United States leadership that were restricted army options, so we really didn't see any decisive action. Sometimes taking an action just took so long to ever happen. So it just kept on going and going and going and going like that energizer bunny. Now for fact number two, let's talk about the fall of Saigon. And this was actually the capture of Saigon, which was the capital of South Vietnam. And this capture happened by the People's Army of Vietnam and the National Liberation Front on April 30th, 1975. That date marks the end of the Vietnam War and the beginning of the formal reunification of Vietnam into a communist state. So Northern Vietnamese forces began their final attack on Saigon on April 29th, and the next day, North Vietnamese troops had occupied the important points within the city, and they raised their flags over the South Vietnamese presidential palace, and the government of South Vietnam formally gave up shortly after that. Now the city Saigon was renamed Ho Chi Minh City after the communist leader Ho Chi Minh. And finally, the last thing I want to share about the Vietnam War is that, you know, of course a war like this really left a lot of deep marks, not just in the American psyche, but just the people of Vietnam as well and other places around the world, especially on the lives of the soldiers who got involved in this. For the Screaming Eagles, as for the rest of the United States military forces in Vietnam, the valiant effort to keep that young nation free continues. However far removed from our shores, the conflict between those who cherish human dignity and those who would snuff it out affects us all. In this belief, the gallant men of the United States Army stand steadfast, not only in Southeast Asia, but wherever they may be asked to serve in freedom's cause. And this led to a creation of a number of books as well as films that explored the war's social and emotional impacts. Some notable books about the Vietnam War were The Things They Carried and We Were Soldiers Once and young. Some notable films were First Blood, Full Metal Jacket, Platoon, as well as Apocalypse Now. So that concludes our brief look into the Vietnam War. And you know, war is never a pleasant thing. And I'm a person that believes that it's never a necessary solution at all. And I know some of you may disagree with me on that, but whatever your thoughts and feelings are, let me know down below in the comments section. Before you guys head out, my social media links are below so you can follow me over there as well. Thanks for joining me here on another episode. It was great to discuss the Vietnamese War. I know I had some questions about it, so it was a good refresher for me as well, and I hope you guys learned something new. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, I'm going to be leaving you with a related video. It's going to be coming up at the end screen, so take a look at that. So I'm going to get out of here. Enjoy that one, guys, and I'll see you next time.